Hi and well welcome to Electrical Engineering Planet and in today's video we will create a direct online method to control an induction motor but we will control the motor with two different ways we can control it manually by making something called a jogging jogging when you press the push button the motor will start working when you release your hand from the push button the motor will stop also we will control it automatically to work continuous so when you press the push button the motor will start working continuous when you want to stop the motor you have to push the stop button so now we will control the motor with two different methods one is jogging and the other one is continuous mode so let's start creating our motor by choosing electrotechnical IEC standard here from power energy sources three phase we will drag and drop the three phase power source let's now go to protection and choose a circuit breaker this is our three pole circuit breaker after that we will choose a thermal relay three pole this is a thermal overload let's drag and drop it here from contactor poles we will choose a three poles normally open contactor let's drag and drop it here let's close it for now now from motors asynchronous motors we will choose this motor let's zoom a little bit choose from power wires three wires and let's start connecting our motor perfect as you can see this is a very simple direct online motor now let's create our control circuit here from energy sources we will choose a single phase source let's drag and drop it here now let's move on and go to control here from protection we will choose a single pole circuit breaker this is our circuit breaker here let's go now to switches and choose a normally closed push button this is our normally closed push button now let's bring from this thermal overload a normally closed contact so here let's add a normally closed contact for protection let's drag and drop it here now we will choose from multi position switches a switch that we will use to choose between continuous mode and jogging mode here i will choose this three position rotary switch let's drag and drop it here right click on it from transformation i will make a horizontal flip here i will double click on this switch and from positions i will choose the three positions one two three i will rename this two position i will call it zero because it's the off position and this one position i will make it for example the jogging and this number three i will call it two and we will use it for continuous operation let's press ok and as you can see this is number one zero and two i will do something also to choose the default position on zero so the default position for the motor is zero when simulation so press ok now and we are good to go now as you can see we will choose two different methods to control our motor so from switches we will bring a push button this is a push button and we will bring another push button here 
This push button number three is used for jogging operation. When you press on this push button, the motor will start working. When you release your hand, the motor will stop. And you will find this in the operation of overhead cranes, electrical overhead cranes. When we control those cranes, we have to push on the push button. The motor will start working and the crane will start moving. When you release your hand from the push button, the crane will stop immediately for safety purposes. Here also we have the push button number four, which will be used for the continuous operation. Now let's bring the contactor coil here. Let's bring our contactor coil. This is the coil for our motor. Let's call now this contactor KF1, which is related to this coil. So we are linking those together. Now let's connect our circuit. This is our circuit breaker, our stop push button or switch. And this is our thermal overload. And then we will connect this to a start push button and then to this KF1. And here we will connect this to the second push button and also to the coil of the contactor. And here the other terminal of the coil of the contactor we will connect it to the neutral. Here from relay contacts I will bring a normally open push button. We will connect it in parallel to this push button so we can make a holding contact or latch contact. Also, I will connect it to the coil of KF1. So when this coil is activated, this contactor will start working and this normally open contact will be closed, which will make a holding or latching contact to the coil of the motor. Now let's connect it in parallel. And now our circuit is ready. Let's simulate our circuit to see what's happening. As you can see, we have to close the main circuit breaker and the control circuit breaker. And here we are on zero position. When you choose the jogging mode, you have to push on this button to make the motor work. When you release your hand, the motor will stop working. So this is used in overhead cranes. We have to push this push button to make the motor work and the crane will start moving. When you release your hand, the crane will stop. Let's now move on and go to the continuous operation. Here, as you can see, when you press on this push button, there is a latching contact that will make this contactor work continuously until we press on this stop push button. Of course, the motor is still working, but it's decreasing its speed because of the inertia. If you want to make this motor stop immediately, we have to increase the friction. So friction coefficient, we have to increase it a little bit. So check on it and let's choose it 0 0.0001. Okay, let's simulate the circuit again. Close the two circuit breakers and choose here to work continuous. I'm sorry, let's start working on jogging. So we are using jogging. Release your hand and the motor will stop. Press on the push button, release your hand and the motor will stop. But here, when you choose this continuous operation, when you choose working, it will work continuous even when you release your hand from the push button because of this normally open contact has made a latched contact. We have to stop the motor from here. Perfect. That was it for today's tutorial. And in the next tutorial, we will learn how to create a power circuit and control circuit for overhead cranes, which is moving in X direction, Y direction and Z direction. Please consider subscribing in Electrical Engineering Planet channel to support our community. Also, don't forget to share, 
like and let knowledge enlighten your world thanks for watching